and communicate with your subconscious mind, you have to get into dream journaling. This is a requirement. People say, hey, what's the best book on dreams? The book that you wrote. Hey, what's the best book on lucid dreams? The book that you wrote. Hey, what's the best book on dream symbols? The book that you wrote. Because if you go online and read that a star means that you're supposed to smack your mama and you smack your mama and then your mama turn around and get, put you in a DDT and now you got a concussion, it's all because you read some stupid dream journal book that told you to smack your mama when you seen an upside down star. That ain't right and exact. The upside down star means something specifically to you. The upside down star means something specifically to me. And in my book, I wrote down what it means to me. And in your book, you read what it means to you. Never once can we argue about that shit. No, man, it means that you gonna have a fat ass. How? No, man, it means that I'm about to graduate high school. Like, it's just a whole bunch of random dumb ass shit at the end of the day. When you really get boiled down to it and to circumnavigate all the random dumbass shit, you're going to have to start to journal your dreams, but it don't stop there. Your dreams are the gateway to your subconscious mind. If you do not understand what your dreams mean, that is okay. You have to learn what they mean by journaling. One must be comfortable, relaxed, and sexually satisfied, or these things will obstruct your understanding of your dreams. If you want to be in a relationship and you don't got a relationship, leave this magic shit alone. Because all you want is a relationship. You don't want magic. You think magic going to help you. It might not. You might find a boyfriend that you really like and he a Christian and he find out you listen to Bobby Hemet videos. He going to call you the fucking devil and spit on your um, welcome mat and never see you again. And you will be sad like I really liked him. Get sexually satisfied first. Get comfortable in your humanity first. Because trying to get a relationship and trying to do spiritual work at the same time be really confusing y'all. Y'all really just want a man. And if you want a man, figure out what men like and just do that shit. Don't make it complicated. Get you a man first. There's men out here. They mean a lot. Ain't a lot. But if you is intentional, I believe in you. I'm good luck, Chuck. Go to the Learn Sidereo Mystery School. Start posting in the mystery school. Let motherfuckers know you're available. I'm sure you'll get some goddamn biters at the bait. Hang around me long enough. You'll get a man. Hang around me long enough. You'll get a girl. I'm 37 years old. I'll be 38 years old. I know my energy. I bring people together. One's in the chat. To truly conquer fear. If I'm lying. If I'm lying, put a two in the chat. If I'm telling the truth, put a one in the chat. To truly conquer fear. Practice relaxing before you go to bed. And as soon as you wake up, do not move or be touched. Just let your thought rise to the surface as you try your best to observe your mind without input in your conscious mind's fear. Remembering your dreams is not easy at first, but the idea is to practice it enough that you become an expert on the subject of you. How you ever... How you a, how you an expert at engineering but don't know yourself? How you an expert at mathematics but don't know yourself? How you an expert at biology but don't know yourself? How you an expert in 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 computers but don't know yourself? You went to mycomputercareer.com but you refuse to learn yourself. I got three herbs on the website and I got some links. So look at the links in the description. Look at the article. Scroll down to the bottom. You'll see a section that says herbs that will help you dream before bed. I'm going to need y'all to get all three of these herbs. Y'all can get them from me. Y'all can get them from somebody else. 
It ain't really the point who you get them from. The point is that you have them in your cabinet. If I told you to put salt on a goddamn hamburger, you wouldn't be like, oh, do you sell salt? Nigga, you would just take your ass to Kroger's and get some salt. So if I say get Blue Lotus, Mugwort, and Valerian Root, I'm not promoting my business. I don't give a shit about that type stuff. People get so convoluted and so confused when they come to making money that they think the spiritual shit is going to help them make money. The spiritual shit is to help you see your fucking soul. It don't even understand what money is. I'll go even further that money is a a a a a result of doing the spiritual work. One's in the chat if it makes sense that once you start to do your lucid dream work that your money will come in order. One's in the chat, one's in the chat to say once you start doing your lucid dream work, the relationship will come in order. We talking about um integrity, we talking about authenticity, we not talking about half ass shit. But you serious about it, you take blue lotus. You take mugwort, you take valerian root, you put a notebook at the side of your bed. Before you get out of bed, you journal everything that happened from the time you went to sleep, from the time you woke up, and then you start your day. Then you start your day. Then you start talking to your partner. Then you start talking to your kids. But if you do not wake up and journal what happened in your dream world, then what you saying is fuck your subconscious mind. You say, you know what, subconscious mind? Fuck you, nigga. Fuck you, cuz. I don't give a fuck about you and nothing that you're going through. I want to see what my fucking supervisor is going through that I hate so much. Let me put my energy on my supervisor and fuck my subconscious mind. Okay, hood, why do I got a journal? How come I just can't remember my dreams? When it comes to prophecy, the prophets in the Bible wasn't prophets because they remembered some shit. The prophets in the Bible, so they say, wrote some shit down before it happened. So the idea of prophecy is to write it as if it's happening in the now. The more that you understand your subconscious, the easier your life is going to be. The more money you get, the more dick you get, the more pussy you get, the more cars you get, the more confused and complicated and convoluted your shit going to be. You was lied to. You need to be clear in your subconscious mind once and for all and come to the conclusion that you've been lied to and will consistently be lied to as long as you listen, as long as you respect a person that's not giving you the reality when it comes to your subconscious mind. Before you awake, this is very important. We're not remembering our dreams. We're observing our dreams. We're observing our minds. Before you awake, you allow... So let me go through them teas again for those who don't want to click the link in the description and read the damn article. Blue Lotus, Mugwort, Valerian Root. Don't remember your dreams, observe your dreams, see your dreams, witness your dreams. You're not going to remember it, but when it comes down to writing it, it's going to be easier to recall. The moment you try to remember something is the moment that you lost it. Remember, so just observe your dreams. Don't remember, observe, perceive, watch, look at. When you look at your dreams, they easier to remember. When you try to remember them, they disappear almost instantly. Now, if you are, you've been smoking black and mild since you've been fucking 17. Um, you know what I'm saying? You don't got as many brain cells as the average bear. And you don't just be dreaming like that. I still got something for you too. This is something for everybody. If for some reason you don't remember anything before you get out of bed, you go and start writing a full page of your thoughts that you have at that moment. If you don't have no dreams, you is not out of this. There's no excuse. You just act like you had a dream and you start writing shit down. If you continue this practice after a while, you eventually start writing down your dreams. 
but you got to get used to it. Your subconscious see what you're doing and it'll start to mimic you and follow your moves. As you begin to write down your dreams, you will have the breakthroughs that you've been desperately seeking from these conscious niggas. One's in the chat. The breakthroughs that you looking for is found in your dream work. And the second part is you applying it in your waking life. First part is recording it. Second part is re applying it. And it should be easy to apply because it's your damn dreams. The best book for dreams, decoding dreams and remembering your dreams is the one that you are going to write. Now, if you mindlessly dreaming, having vivid dreams and talking about dolphins and seagulls and shit, we ain't talking about this. Hopefully, when you're doing this consistently, you create a purpose from your dreams, something you will try in the waking life because you saw it in a dream. Another thing. Whatever, whatever you think your dreams is telling you, you are right. Not, not I'm going to say going to counter, counter or contradict what you know to be true. Stop giving that power to other people. Start taking that power for yourself. And once you receive the message from your dream, the next step is to put your plan into action. And this is where when you can look at the world and see 8 billion people living out their own personal course, whatever it may look out, look like for them, they live in that shit and you can do that shit too, but you need to follow your own playbook. You need to write and create your own playbook. It's imperative. You need to get up off your ass. You need to stop listening to these niggas and start to listen to yourself and listen to your soul. Hey, man, one's in the chat. If that made sense to y'all, do I have any questions before I hop off this live? Any questions before I hop off this live? What I'm trying to do with this information and bring forth is to help you bridge the gap from your dreams to the real world. So when you live your life and you create your life, it's from a sincere, authentic place. You're not living nobody else's life. You ain't following nobody else's path. You ain't doing nothing else that another person wants you to do. You're doing it for you, by you. And, and it's so, and it's so, I'm going to say easy. <laughs> Once you realize that it's available. Once you realize that everybody have dreams and you have dreams. Well, it's, it's not, it's, it's, it's how you, it's how you verbalize things. Shatter dreams in a space of the ability. Cause you can, you could, you can, in your mind, look at those dreams being shattered right now i'm doing it i'm looking at my shattered dreams i got shattered dreams with my mind i can put them shits together them shits ain't shattered no more i don't have shattered dreams now i'm telling you i do have shattered dreams but i also have the power of my mind to remove and restore and to heal with my mental power so your mental power is how you look at things. If you look at things as being shattered, how can you heal from that? That's hard. But if you verbalize it as I have the power within my mind, like if you can see it in your mind's eye, the shard glasses repairing themselves ones in the chat. If you can see with the power of your mind, the healing taking place, as long as you say it is, in Yoruba and Ifa tradition, it's a word that we say, Ashe. Ashe is a, also a Wiccan word. It's also a word of magical power. It means as it is, so it is, or something to that effect. When you say it, it is. The word is power. So, is your dreams really shattered? 
is your dreams really shattered that would be my question to you and if they are shattered can you heal those can you begin to restore those things we talking about living and existing on a mental and emotional plane and so if you say you have shattered dreams then on your mental and emotional plane is you just sitting there with your head in your hands like in a world where there is no recourse so begin to open your mind and open your heart about the possibilities i remember like you this probably don't have nothing to do with anything it might have everything to do with everything but y'all ever seen somebody that was unattractive they thought they was unattractive but they was like super attractive to you like they was like and they might have had like a cleft lip or something or like an imperfection that might people might view that as unattractive but it, it just drove you wild and you really thought that they was attractive that's like saying you got a shattered dream like your dreams is going to alchemize themselves and grow into something greater when you start to act as if alchemy exists for you so alchemy is a collection of shattered dreams that we begin to break down and put into a ball of clay and now we have our once shattered dreams is now the stuff to create our new dream in our new reality i must be blowing up in the world i ain't never had trolls before <laughs> any more questions in reference to the things that we was talking about today You got to really trust that your soul will lead you to success. If you don't do that, then you kind of waiting for something outside of yourself to show up and to elevate you. And as you waiting for that thing, you're reflecting on the past. And it's just a natural response to not trusting your soul. all that means is that you weren't supposed to be there so when you're not supposed to be there what turns into a shattered dream turns into a saving grace and the only reason that you can find it to be a saving grace is if you redirect your energy to a solution to a healing and fixate on that healing and fixate on that solution because if you fixate on the problem, no matter how visceral, no matter how serious you think it is, it's only going to exacerbate and expand that problem. However, when you turn your direction to whatever the solution is, which is developing a relationship with yourself and trusting yourself and taking the energy off of uh, what another person may or may not do to disrupt or destruct your journey. See, the reality about people, they can only fuck up your journey. And the only thing is we let them by giving them the power. So we got to take the power away from people and put the power into our soul. The way that you protect your dreams is that you banish daily. You clean the energy out. See a consistent um, ritual of banishing a consistent energy of releasing. You won't even remember that past situation you cleaned it so if you don't banish then you have old residues of energies and then when you go to sleep it's like you thinking about this thing and it's like having a piece of steak on the plate and every day you walk past that piece of steak and you and you try to figure out how you move on from that piece of steak you got to throw it away you got to wash the dishes and you got to start over you can't bring your past into your future magical processes it don't matter about the past you got to let all of that shit go so if you fearing 
then you need protection then how are you going to protect yourself in dreams you can't because you sleep and and within your dreams you don't need protection within your dreams you need to understand the messages that your subconscious is sending to you if you perceive your dreams as somebody out to get you then what are you going to do are you going to sleep with a gun are you going to buy a crystal what if you can't afford the crystal what if they don't got the real crystal what if you buy the crystal and it's a plastic crystal it ain't a real crystal all of that shit is bullshit there is no such thing as spiritual protection it's only spiritual ignorance and, and gnosis it's only your personal path working or ignorance anything talking about what another person is going to do on a spiritual level is ignorance your spiritual journey your inner journey is 150 million percent personal nobody is out to get you so banish and release